guys, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel, Hot Mess Quilter. I am so excited that you're gonna be joining me along with my very first ever time hosting a quilt along. So these will be videos that will come out every week or every two weeks. And once you get all your supplies gathered, you'll be able to watch the videos at your pace and complete each step of the project as we go along. By the time we're done, you're gonna have a quilt essentially completed. So that's pretty exciting. I do wanna talk about some supplies and make sure that you have everything you need so this will be a successful start to your project. Sewing machine, whether it's yours and you need to dig it out from underneath the stairs, out of the closet, dust it off, borrow one, whatever. I learned to sew on a borrowed sewing machine, so there's no shame in that. Um, get yourself a sewing machine and make sure that you have fresh sewing machine needles. So dig through your stash. If you don't have anything, you can pick some of those up. You're gonna need thread. I would recommend 100% cotton for piecing this quilt together in a white, a gray, a cream, something neutral. You're gonna need bobbins. So make sure that you have extra bobbins in your stash. You're gonna need a rotary cutter. This is a non-negotiable, guys. You're gonna want this. It's gonna make your cuts more accurate, which is gonna make your piecing of the quilt together a lot better. So get yourself a good rotary cutter with a sharp blade, which they're very sharp. Um, a sewing quilting ruler. It's designed for cutting and measuring fabrics. So get yourself a ruler. Um, there's so many sizes out there. I would recommend a long ruler. This particular one is two and a half inches. So if that works for you, if that fits within your budget, this is a good size to start with. If you can afford uh, maybe a six inch ruler, that would be great too. You're gonna need some straight pins. You're certainly gonna need some little scissors. Um, so whatever you have. And I would also recommend that you get a cutting mat. And this has a ruler grid on it so that you can accurately measure your material, cut your material. It will protect your tabletop, desktop, whatever. Please don't spend a lot of money on these supplies. If you don't have anything, you can pick them up at Walmart. You can get them at amazon.com. Go to Hobby Lobby, Joann's, get yourself a coupon. So don't invest a ton of money. You don't have to get the top of the line products. Just get whatever um, suits and fits well within your budget. In the next video, we are gonna be talking about fabric, um, how much you're gonna need, the type of fabric that I recommend, just some options on that. So make sure that you check in uh, when that next video launches. Otherwise, that's it. Look, I have got projects laid out here. I've got things to do. So I'm gonna get to working on my own stuff and I'm gonna be thinking about what colors I wanna make this Carpenter Star quilt right along with you in. I guess that's it, guys. So we'll see you guys in the next video.